What's up, y'all? Another Bible study, Bible reading, Luke 10. Now after this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them in pairs ahead of him to every city and place where he himself was going to come. Now that, what's interesting is if you go back to the time of Moses, Moses was bearing the burden of the people, and the Lord said, uh, brought 70, 70 of the elders of Israel to come before him and to see him. And uh, he put his spirit on the 70 of the elders of Israel. And now we have his son sending out 70 into the cities with the spirit. And he was saying to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, beseech the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go, behold, I send you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no money belt, no bag, no shoes, and greet no one by the way. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. If a man of peace is there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in that house, eating and drinking what they give you, for the laborer is wor worthy of his wages. Do not keep moving from house to house. Whatever city you enter and they receive you, eat what is set before you, and heal those in it who are sick, and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whatever city you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the street and say, even the dust of your city, which clings to our feet, we wipe off and pro protest against you. Yet be sure of this, that the kingdom of God has come near. I say to you that it will be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than, in, than, for, than for that city. Now this is just like the last chapter where he sent his, his twelve out and told them don't take anything with you. But you'll be, you'll be provided for. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the miracles that had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, which occurred in you, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, will not be exalted to heaven, will you? You will be brought down to Hades. The one who listens to you, listens to me. And the one who rejects you, rejects me and the one who rege and he who rejects me rejects the one who sent me so basically us as as uh, believers us as disciples of God disciples of Christ that are going out proclaiming the gospel if, if people reject us they're ultimately rejecting God The seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I was watching Satan fall from heaven like lightning. That See, that always kind of stuck out to me as, as kind of random. And uh, fall from heaven like lightning in the Hebrew when read in English, actually kind of translates to Barack Obama, strangely enough. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over the power of the enemy, and nothing will injure you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are recorded in heaven. At that very time, he rejoiced greatly in the Holy Spirit and said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and intelligent and revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for this way was well-pleasing in your sight. All things that have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone whom the Son wills to reveal him. Turning to the disciples, he said privately, 
Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. For I say to you that many prophets and kings wish, wish to see the things which you see and did not see them, and to hear the things which you hear and did not hear them. And a lawyer stood up and put him to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit, inherit eternal life? And he said to him, What is written in the law? How does it read to you? He answered, uh, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and with all your strength and all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Now if we go to John, um, the, Bible, the Bible defines the Bible and the Bible tells us the way we love God is by keeping His commandments. You know, by walking in his ways. And he said, and he said to him, You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. See, he didn't say, See, see it's interesting. Yes, we're only saved through Jesus. We're only saved through Yeshua. But he said, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he said, what is written in the law? How does it read to you? How do you understand it? How do you interpret that? How are you living it? But willing to justify himself, he said to Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied and said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among robbers, and they stripped him and beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. And by chance a priest was going down on that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise a Levite also, when he came to the place he saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, who was on a journey, came, came upon him, And when he saw him, he felt compassion, and he came to him and bandaged up his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. And he put him on his own beast and carried him to an inn and took care of him. On the next day, he took, took two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper and said, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, when I return, I will repay you. Which of these three do you think proved to be the neighbor to the man who fell into the robber's hands? And he said, the one who showed mercy toward him. And Jesus said to him, go and do the same. By loving your neighbor in ways like that. Now as they were traveling along, he entered a village. And a woman named Martha welcomed him in, into her home. She had a sister named Mary, who was seated at the Lord's feet, listening to his word. But Martha was distracted with all her preparations. And she came up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the serving alone? Then tell her to help me. But the Lord answered her and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and bothered about so many things, but only one thing is ne necessary. For Mary has choos chosen the good part, which shall not be taken away from her. See, see Jesus was saying, the good part, the most important part, is Him, following Him, not worrying about things of this world, things that you have to take care of. Follow Him. That's the end of chapter 10. God bless you guys.